Last definition of standards. This one you're really honestly most you're used to already. And that is, is all class names begin with an uppercase letter. I'm sure you're probably pretty used to that already, so there's nothing crazy. Now, there's only one private protected or public sections in a class definition. Yes, you actually can have more than one. And also, don't forget that by default, let's pretend you didn't put private, but what is it going to go to? Is it going to be public, private, protected? Which one is it? You should know that if you don't talk to us about it. We have to worry about that. And notice there is actually an order. Public comes first, followed by protected, and then private, which actually I have a tough time once in a while myself because I like getting the private variables laid out and then use my IDE to do, generate all the setters and getters, but i got to be careful and we want to follow that pattern, so make sure it is that pattern. So class methods have complete function header comments, and we're going to show you a little bit more of that a little bit later on here, but just we'll have an example, hopefully it pops up as well here. And then, except for the, like, the setters and getters, because you know what they're doing, because the name of the function is telling you exactly what it is. And then your class data members may begin with an M underscore. And why M underscore? Well, here's why. Number one, M means member. That part. But M and then the underscore, that's a unique combination that you're probably not going to see all that often in your coding. So why we do that, and that's being displayed right now, is that the IDE, if you type in M underscore, it'll actually give you all of the options that you really want to see for your data members of that class. And that's nice and easy because, again, you, I know most of the time you're probably working on projects on your, on your own, but you might forget <laughs> which data members you have. So just doing that M underscore, and then the IDE will go ahead and list all those for you. It's a nice little feature to have. And again, M underscore is a unique character set that probably is not going to show up all that often in your normal code. So that's why we do that. So use that little feature to help you out and also follow our class definition standard.